like I always say, life gets better, life gets better. So when life gets better, life just gets better? Yep. Good motto. Everybody's having a great day out there. Another really hot day here. And I forgot to completely pick up the camera for an hour. And Sasha just got home from summer school. Does anybody else have one of those days? Because I feel if it's not like attached to me or near me, I completely forget to pick up the camera. So we're just hanging out. She's sitting in the pea pod. So tell everybody your huge news that you did at swim lessons today. Uh, I was. I was jumping the deep end. She now jumps in the deep end all by herself. We're going to have to show them. Right. In the past, quite a bit about um, Sasha's sleep pattern and how it's never been great. It takes her forever to fall asleep. Sometimes she's up to 12 o'clock and then she's back up again. We have tried liquid melatonin, <coughs> excuse me, in the past that we got at our local health food store. I've tried a prescription sleep aid from our pediatrician that eh, it worked and it didn't work. Um, yes, we you know, do the weighted blanket, um, I do joint compressions and the sensory brushes and essential oils and sometimes, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like I'm running out of options. It's just like, how do you get your child to sleep? Like, and then she will stay asleep. So I actually, um, our local Walmart, as crazy it is, has a really good natural section where I get all of Sasha's bath salts, um, I get protein bars, I get coconut oil there, um, I get hemp seeds there, I've actually got an essential oil diffuser for her room that you know puts a lavender throughout the room for bedtime and I found this and this company is great it also makes natural um, other things for kids such as cough syrups and cold remedies so I know it's safe the company is a reliable company so these are what they are if it will focus and they're children's sleep melatonin and they're great flavor and it actually says on the back for her to take two for her age but I've been giving her one very small very chewable very dissolvable and we've been trying it for two weeks now, and I, I don't do it every night, every other night. Within 10 minutes, this girl's to bed. So I highly recommend these if you are having problems because these have helped us wonder so far. What's the matter? I just watched you. However, in the deep. Okay, go under. I'm watching. Go under. I'm watching. Yeah, you're going under the water. Going under the water. Good job. Keep kicking. Keep kicking. Keep kicking. Keep there you go. Keep kicking. Good job. Swim. All the way. You've got it. You're doing a good job. Oh my gosh. Are you out of breath? What? Are you out of breath? Yeah. You're doing a great job kicking and swimming. Good job. Oh no. Mommy, I need some help. It's okay, propel. You got it. What happened? It's okay, you got it. You got it. There you go. Kick, kick, kick. 
Good job. So we had a great time swimming once again. Sasha showed me her moves and she's getting to be a really, really good swimmer and I'm proud of her. We're sitting here in the car. It is still so hot. Uh, Mom. Yes. Can we go get pizza on We're not getting pizza right now. So her big issue today was, and it's been lately, Sasha is overly friendly and overly touchy and it's part of her sensory seeking that um, she just wants to touch and hold and be close to everybody all the time and I have to explain to her that sometimes you know strangers they just don't want to love you like other people do and she just she really wants to be close to everybody so I kept telling her probably <laughs> 20 times that you got to give people space and you can't touch all the little kids and it's harmless but that's Sasha and some people don't understand and one of the moms is like you know give me looks so we had to back off a little bit on that. hey guys we just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who continues to write wonderful comments on our channel who love and support you know without you guys we wouldn't be growing our channel and meeting great new people and we've done this in the past and Miss Sasha is actually over here. She's getting ready for bed. But we wanted to open this conversation up to you guys and say, do you have a question for Sasha or I? Um, like I said, we've done this in the past. And, you know, we just want to feel connected to you guys. And, you know, it could be a question that yeah, you have for me. It could be a question you have for Sasha. It could be a medical thing that you're a little curious about, you know, does Sasha have this? What's going on? That maybe you're new to our channel. So we wanted to open up the questions to you guys and I will try to answer all of them because we have done this in the past and I've got like 60 questions in one video. So it might have to be a couple videos, but we just love to get to know you guys and connect better with you. So if you have a question, leave it in the comments down below so, you know, we can include it in our video and answer it for you guys. So what do you think? Yeah, I think so. Somebody's tired, she's going to bed. What do you say? Good night.